Good morning children. Welcome back to your Google classroom. Today we will discuss the topic verbs. It is the 6th chapter from our grammar textbook. We will discuss the topic verbs and its main classifications. We are always engaged in some or other activities or actions. What do you mean by verbs? Verbs are action words. The words which denote an action. For example, the words like sit, stand, jump, dance, sing, etc. These are examples for action words or verbs. Actually, this is the simplest definition of verbs. Let's learn the topic verbs in detail. Let me explain this through some examples. Rahul gave a chocolate to his sister. Rahul gave a chocolate to his sister. Dia bought a book yesterday. Dia bought a book yesterday. Children, can you identify the verbs given in these sentences? Yes, it's very easy, right? In the first sentence, Rahul is the subject. And what is the action done by him? Gave. So, gave is the action word or the verb in that sentence. Like that, in the second sentence, dia is the subject. And what is the action done by her? Bought. So, bought is the action word or the verb in that sentence. So, we use verbs to express an action done by a person or thing. Let's learn some more examples. She is a smart girl. She is a smart girl. We are cousins. We are cousins. So, there is no action words given in that sentence. But verbs are there. Which are the verbs given in these sentences? In the first sentence, is is the verb. And in the second sentence, are is the verb. The words is and are express the state or condition of the subjects. What she is. She is a smart girl. And what we are. We are cousins. So, the words which are used to state or the condition of a person or a thing are also called verbs. The words is, am, are, was, were are Example for these. Let me share two more examples. He has a car. He has a car. They have a beautiful garden. They have a beautiful garden. In these sentences also, there are no action words. But verbs are there. Can you identify the verbs given in these sentences? Has and have. The words has and have express or it shows what is owned or possessed by the subject. In the first sentence, the subject is he. And what is owned or possessed by him? It is a car. And the second sentence, they. What is owned by the subject? They. They owned a or they possessed a beautiful garden. So, we use the verbs to denote the fact that someone is possessing something. The words like has, have and had are example for these. So, words are not just action words. The words which are used to uh, express the condition of the subject and also to express the fact that something is possessed by the subject are also called Verbs. Verbs are mainly classified into two. Main verbs and auxiliary verbs. Main verbs are the verbs which can express its meaning independently and tells us what the subject does, feels, etc. It may not depend on the other verbs to get the meaning. Action words are examples for main verbs. For example, he speaks German. 
Arya wrote a letter. It can express its meaning independently. It is not depending on other verbs to get the meaning. They can stand independently in order to get the meaning. I hope you understood the term main verb. Main verb are the action verbs. Let's discuss the topic auxiliary verbs. Auxiliary verb help the main verb to get the meaning and also to denote the tense of the sentence. So it is also called helping verbs. Auxiliary verbs are divided into two. Primary auxiliaries and modal auxiliaries. Primary auxiliary verbs are the forms of be, do and have. Which are the forms of be? The forms of be are is, am, are, was and were. We use is, am and are in the present tense and was, was and were in the past tense. We use is with singular subject and am with the subject I and are with the plural subjects. And we use was with singular subject and were with plural subjects in the past tense. Forms of do. Forms of do are do, does and did. We use do with plural subjects and does with singular subjects in the present tense. And did is the past form of do and does. We can use did both with singular and plural nouns. Then the forms of have. The forms of have are have, has and had. We use has and have in the present tense. We use have with plural uh, subjects and has with singular subjects. And had is the past form of has and have. We can use had with both singular and plural subjects. So, forms of be, do and have are called primary auxiliaries. Next category, modal auxiliary verbs. Modal auxiliary verbs are used to express the mood or the state of mind of the speaker. They are also used to express possibility, ability, duty, etc. The words will, would, shall, should, may, might, can, could, must, ought to, need, dare and used to are called modal auxiliary verbs. So, all together, the action verbs or the main verbs and the auxiliary verbs are also called verbs. I hope all of you understood the term verbs. So, what do you mean by verbs? The words which are used to express an action done by the subject and to express the state or the condition of the subject and to denote the fact that something is owned by a subject are called verbs. We have some activities related to the term verbs. Do the activities C and D. That's all for today. A YouTube URL is attached. Watch the video. The notes of this topic is also attached. Learn it. A test paper is also included. Submit your answers as soon as possible. We can meet in the next class with the continuation of this topic. Thank you.